Hello. Um, I recently got some new books, some new Pink Floyd books. So, um, this is a book I already got that I showed off in a, another video before. This is, um, A Very Irregular Head, The Life of Sid Barrett by, uh, Rob Chapman. And I've already gotten through about halfway. This is the page that I've folded, it's all, uh, page 189. So I'm about halfway through this book, and it's really good. It's all about Sid. Um, but I've gotten five new more books from, uh, um, from eBay. My mom bought them off of eBay and gave them to me as a gift. So I'm going to show those. The first one is um, Pink Floyd, The Press Reports. These are all Pink Floyd related, just to be clear. These are all Pink Floyd, Sid Barrett related. Um, so, yep, yeah, this one's about all the press reports that, uh, that were made for the Pink Floyd. And, uh, I say the Pink Floyd because that's how they were referred to back in the old days. But I know that it's kind of weird. Like, sometimes I say Pink Floyd, sometimes I say the Pink Floyd. But, anyway, um, uh... Yeah, I know it sounds kind of weird to some people, pro probably, you know. Um, but I, I'm excited to read this one. I would love to see all the, all the stuff that they were, all the things people were saying in the press about them. You know, that can be really interesting. And the next one is Lost in the Woods, Sid Barrett and the Pink Floyd. As Again, they refer to them as the Pink Floyd, so obviously it's not just me, I'm not just crazy. I am crazy, but that's unrelated. Anyway, so this one's cool. I am excited to read this, you know, it's another one about Sid. Oh, I forgot to say who the last one was by, so the press reports one was by Vernon Finch. And this, um, this one, Lost in the Woods, with Sid Barrett and all that, that one is by Julian uh, Palacios. That's an interesting last name. The next one is Crazy Diamond, Sid Barrett and the Dawn of Pink Floyd by Mike Wa Watkinson and Pete Anderson. And here it is. I like that. F that's a cool photograph of Sid. And um, he looks a bit tired. He does, which is, you know, too bad, but still... Um, yeah, uh, this is another one about Sid. It's not as long, it's a bit thin, so that'll be easier to get through. I, I'm excited, and I'm also dreading having to read all of them at the same time, because, like, I'm a, I'm, I like to read, but I'm not, like, a huge reader, so I, I, I'm gonna be, like, I'm eager to read them, but I don't know if, how much time I'll have. I don't know, it's, it might take, um like, years, maybe, <laughs> I, you know, because I usually only read at school, and I only have so much time at school to read, so, yeah, I don't read much when I'm out of school, um, all right, the next one is Saucer Full of Secrets, The Pink Floyd Odyssey by Nicholas Schaffner, um, and it has a really cool cover, check this out, that's really neat and pretty, I like this a lot. I like how it looks. Um, this one doesn't seem to be as Sid Barrett oriented, so that's alright, you know. I have to learn a bit more about the post-Sid days because I'm not that well um, educated on it, you know. I, I, I <laughs> what, if I'm, what if I went to college and I majored in Pink Floyd, Pink Floydology? Um, that would be interesting. Uh, they don't. They, that doesn't exist. But it should because you gotta learn. It's very important. It's what else matters, man, besides the Floyd, you know? Okay. And the last one is the Pink Floyd Encyclopedia, and it's got an interesting cover on it. Um, a lot of it looks a bit wacky and a bit zany to me. You can see there's all this business going on here, all this craziness. Um. And this one is by uh, Vernon Finch again. Oh, wait, I think I said Finch. It's Fitch. There's no N in the last name. It's just Fitch. But anyway, yeah. This is cool. This is interesting. It's got hundreds of new Pink Floyd facts, man. Uh, this is the third edition, apparently. Um, 
How exciting. It also boasts that it includes a f exclusive bonus CD. I didn't get the bonus CD because I got this off of eBay and they didn't it didn't come with the CD, so that's a little unfortunate, but still this is cool and I'm I'm excited to like oh I mean it, I'm not going to read uh, you know you wouldn't read the Oh wait. It does come with the CD. Yay! There it is. It's in the back. Wee! I'm so happy. Um Yeah, it's got it's got some sounds on. It's got some little songies. Um Let me open it up and see what songs it has. We It's got Interstellar Overdrive, Hyperdrive Reprise, and a saucer full of secrets. So that's fun. This is nice. It's so cute. It's just this little CD, you know, it's shiny and all that. Y'all know what CDs look like, but it, they're so pretty, man. I just like the shininess of them. Am I stupid? Am I stupid for enjoying things? Is that is that just dumb? Am I trash? I don't know, maybe I'm just being insecure. I'm definitely just being insecure for absolutely no reason, and I'm completely insane. And I'm sorry about that, but anyway... Look at the back, by the way. Look at the back. Look at the back. That's kind of what the observable universe looks like. It has that sort of weird pattern to it. But I know this is actually just... It looks like a photograph of, like, underwater stuff, so I don't know. But it's just really pretty. Look at that shit. It's all blue and stuff. Alright, I'm gonna put the CD back in this little pouch. Safe and sound in the little pouch. Hopefully it will not fall out. Doesn't look like it wants to fall out. It looks pretty snug in there. Alright, I think that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. But here's all my books. All my books. It's a big old stack. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.